What I'm going to do now is plug my guitar into the left input of the audio interface. I'm going to take my USB cable, plug it into the iPad. I'm going to turn on my audio interface. And you notice that the iPad should reply. There it goes. It took a second. It should say that there's an audio device connected. And since we want to hear what we're playing and what we're uh, recording as well, we want to make sure we click on turn on monitoring. There. So the next thing to do is make sure your volume's turned up. That's the volume icon. And I'm going to click on the input icon, which is the guitar jack input. Okay. Now you see that the iPad sees two input channels. Input one is left, input two is the right. Um, the iPad knows that it can output the signal to be monitored. And there's also a noise gate here, but I'm going to turn that off. Okay, we're ready to record guitar in our iPad. Put this in a tripod. I'll get my guitar here. Pick vibrato blues, maybe. See what that sounds like. Now, what's happening is the guitar signal is being digitized by the audio interface, being sent digitally to the iPad. The iPad is processing the signal through the, the amp model I have selected. And then the output from that amp model is going back to the audio interface and getting amplified to the speakers, converted to sound. I'll pick a different one I like. Dreamy texture. Now to record, I'm going to tap the button here. Two, three, four. So I recorded uh, six measures. Uh, I'm going to go back to track view here to show you that I have one track of audio. I can play it back. That's good. Let's say I want to pan that over to the left speaker. So I select the track, and there's a little mixer setting here. Let's see if I can... Mixer settings. See the little sliders? You click on that. And this is the information about that track. Do you want to mute it? Do you want to solo it? The volume, the panning. I'm going to pan this track over to the left. Any reverb, bass, compression, effects. I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. But now, if I play it, it should come out the left speaker. Nothing out of the right speaker. That's good. Alright, let's say I want to do another track for the left hand side, or the right channel. I'm going to hit the plus. Boing. Asks me, whoops, what I want to do. I'm going to do another guitar amp. This time I'm going to do uh, maybe vibrato blues. Put this back in the tripod while I record another track. Make sure I rewind first. Uh, what's going on now? Oh, monitor got turned off somehow. It's probably when I switched in. There we go. One, two, three, four. There 
there. So now I have two tracks. If I go back to track view, the first track we did is on the top. The second track is blue. Whoops, go back. I'm going to highlight that track. And I'm going to pan that over to the right. Roll. Rewind. <laughs> There we go. So now I've got two tracks recorded.